In this video, I'll be doing a review from the latest offering from the Ultimate Edition Oz team, Diamond 2B. It's based on Ubuntu 1304. Now, I remember the distros from the Ultimate Edition Oz team. I think it was one of the first ones from when it was based on Ubuntu 10.04. And I thought, yeah, it's a really nice, colorful distro. And in fact, I used it for a little while on a netbook. But this latest offering, oh, I think it's very dull and boring. Yes, they've done a lot of nice custom artwork, but the default theme would be a gray background, of a gray theme, and the black icons. <sighs> it doesn't do it for me. I just feel it's gone very dull now. Um, yes, we've got some nice wallpapers here, but the Ultimate Edition distro seems to be all about being glamorous and... Well, that's something for gamers, isn't it? Just be glamorous and go completely over the top. On the subject of the theme, with the icons, uh, when you start looking through all the applications that are pre-installed on here, you can see some of the glaring emissions where not quite all the icons are available for that theme. But on the subject of programs there, it's an awfully large ISO that uh, they've provided, totaling 2.8 gig. <laughs> that's quite hefty and it's only available for 64-bit systems. Not sure whether to criticise them on that. I'm not really, but 64-bit uh, being modern, hey, can't complain there. Well, as you can see, the Unity launcher is fairly well stacked up with a variety of applications there. Along the top, we've got just a standard view, really, of the Ubuntu desktop, the availability settings, network connections, sound settings, and shutdown menu. Now the Ultimate Edition Oz team have included quite a few lenses in the Unity launcher. So you can search for journal articles, recipes, Everpad. So Everpad is installed and you can search your notes through this. Medicines, uh, music collection, news, uh, photos, torrents, hmm, videos and Wikipedia. However, with this being based on Ubuntu 13.04, it's got the slower Unity launcher compared to Ubuntu 13.10, which is currently in development. But at least there's one lens that's missing off this, and that's the Amazon searcher. Quite a useful thing to uh, get rid of. So let's see what we could search in Wikipedia. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. There's a couple of different themes included. So you've got this, yeah, the grey one, which I mentioned about earlier, that's rather dull. And you've got this dark one. Yeah, I think that's one that kind of looks a bit better. The icons aren't really much different to what we get included with Ubuntu. There's a couple of different selections included, though. I'll leave it as its default. It curses no different, and nothing else is that different there. So really the only other thing we can say about this distro is it has quite a lot of applications, um, so let's just take a look through them, because otherwise it's pretty much just like Ubuntu 13.04. So let's open up the filter. Accessibility, well, not much different there. Customization, mm, a few various customization tools here. Boot repair, firewall configuration, a grub customizer as well as yeah, various different applications there, because I'm not, I'm not going to read all these out. Education, just one extra there, Golden Dictionary. Did a video on that years ago, didn't I? <sighs> I can't even remember what it was about now. All right, games, a few basic games, but also DOSBox emulator and Play on Linux included. So Play on Linux will help you get some Windows applications installed into Linux. Internet, some glaring emissions from the icon theme. As you can see there, we've got Everpad, FileZilla, Firefox, and Opera for the web browsers, Java, Pigeon for the Instant Messenger, Qubit Torrent for the Torrent client, Remote Desktop Viewer, Skype, Thunderbird for the email client, and XChat IRC. Office, we've got the full suite of LibreOffice. System, well, yeah, there's quite a few programs there, but nothing that notable to mention. Graphics, we've got GIMP for the image editor. As you can see, we've also got Blender, Inkscape, and LibreCAD. As well as a few other applications there. 
Media, Audacious and Clementine for the media players. VLC and Totem for the movie players. Also got XBMC on here. So it is a distro with quite a lot of applications pre-installed. That's good if you don't really know what you're after, but bad if you're <laughs> trying to slim down your distro and keeps the applications that you just want included. Otherwise you've got quite a lot there to remove. And here's what I thought of Diamond 2B. So yeah, it's reasonably easy enough to use, easy to install. The theming, as I mentioned earlier, it seems a bit dull compared to previous releases. The boot up speed, 12 seconds, reasonable enough. Um, actually, I think it's slightly slower compared to some of the other Ubuntu distros I've had running in VirtualBox, but only by a few seconds. Responsiveness, a bit below average, I would say. Number of bugs, didn't find any. Selection of pre-installed applications. There are quite a lot here, <laughs> um, but you pretty much can expect that from an Ultimate Edition distro. Selection of applications available. They've added a couple of repositories, but not really enough for me to give it full marks. And there's only 64-bit available for this release. So the good points. They have added quite a lot of lenses to the Unity launcher. But the bad points. The online results <laughs> slow the launcher right down. It's more prominent in VirtualBox than it would be on a real distro, so it's perhaps not a fair review of it in that respect. Um, and also, with the short support time of Ubuntu 13.04, there's only six months left now from the point when I'm reviewing the distro. So overall, I've given it 70%. So thanks for watching. See you later.